Hey guys, welcome back. Um, we're going to do some harder examples on uh, bearings now. So these questions are going to be a lot longer than any of the examples, any other topics I've done before. So you need to follow along carefully. I suggest rather than watching this video, um, to I would suggest you actively follow along by drawing the diagrams in your books and making sense of each question carefully. Otherwise it will become, you, you will nod along to it and you'll see my logic, but you won't then be able to do that in an, in an exam or even in a worksheet. So there are quite a few examples that I'm going to go through for this, but you'll see some patterns. So. Uh, example three. So the first two examples I've done in the last video. So example three, um, a ship is traveling from A to B on a bearing of 45 and then from B to C on a bearing of 140. The ship is then 13.6 kilometers east of A. Find the distance AB. So here's the diagram. So we label what we know. That's 45, 140, 13.6. Now, when you get a question like this, I would argue it's actually, you can ignore the actual wording of the question and just fill out as much information as you can before you continue to work out the unknown that you've been asked to work out. So just by looking at the diagram and not looking at the, any of the words above it, I, I know that's 45 because they're co-interior angles, 45 and 45, because you've got two parallel lines. I know that that has to be 40 because it's angles on a straight line. The north line is a straight line up. I know that this has to be 135 because that and this red 45 degree angle are both co-interior. And I know that this has to be 45, this green 45 degree angle, because this red line here goes east um, from C. So that's, be, that's actually given in the question. So then I can also work out the missing angle here because this is angles in a triangle. So this angle here will be 180, take away the three other inside angles. So you have 50 degrees. This makes the question way, way easier to work out. We're looking for distance AB. So you have an angle, a length unknown, an angle and a known length. So actually we just use the sine rule. So A over sine 50 equals 13.6 over sine 85. Multiply both sides by sine 50. And then you get your answer, which is 10.46 uh, to two decimal places. So following the same approach, try to sketch this out, pause the video, and then we'll compare your sketches with my one. So here's what, what I have here. So A travels on a degree, uh, 30 degrees and then one, two, five, and then back down. So let's label what we know, 30 degrees is there. That's going to be one, two, five, 11.6. Now, um, a key tip here is you want to keep the bearings um, less, than or e less than or equal to 180. So when you're given a bearing of 260, you know that this angle here, the C, the external part is 260, but I'm going to split that up into 180 plus 80. That's still 260, but you're going to, you can obviously see why I'm going to do that because I can, you, I can see alternate angles and corresponding angles and things like that from here. So I'm going to leave that as 180. I can then work out this angle here has to be 50 because of corresponding angles. That's an 80 degree angle there. So this 30 plus 50 also has to be 80. In case you, in case you don't see it, here's the, the two parallel lines. There's one there, there's one there. So I know that if that's 80, well, then that has to be 80 as well. So the next thing I can work out from here is this 30 degree angle because it's alternate to that 30 degree angle. You know, again, angles on a straight line. The north line is a straight line. So 125 plus 55. And then also that's angles around a point and then angles inside a triangle. So I end up again using the sine rule. So A over sine 45 gives 11.6 over sine 85. The 85 is 30 and 55 given there. Rearrange it and I get 8.2 kilometers. 
So example, 